Hi, I'm here with uh, Dennis Warnicke from Tinyo. Tinyo is a company that makes a bunch of interesting products and Dennis is going to tell us a little bit about it and they've been around for about 25, 30 years now. So Dennis, um, tell us a little bit about Tinyo and why you guys do what you do. Well, we do soil biology, we do uh, foliar fertilizers, including biology in those packages. And we find that the key to overall plant health is the digestive system. And that's one of the reasons why we do what we do. Excellent. And a little bit about the history. Um, tell us about Bruce Tinyo. You know, Bruce uh, was a seed geneticist for the Wilbur Ellis Company. And 30 years ago, he realized we weren't building healthier crops, we were building healthier insects and disease. Right. And it sent him down the path of wondering why. What, what were we missing in agriculture? And found that soil biology is a living system that we need to treat as a living system. And it's very important that we grow that system just like we do a crop if we want to have healthy plants. One of the philosophies behind Tiny O Biologicals from the very first day that Bruce, uh, his passion was, and that that company has carried on for many years, is we want to build healthy soil, healthy plants, healthy food, and therefore healthy humans. And it all starts with the soil and the nutrition. Right, so why would somebody want to use these products? Why do they need these? What's going to be the benefit for them, for either for their farm or for their garden? You know, both uh, anyone that grows a crop can benefit from enhancing their soil structure, enhancing their, the life within their soil. Um, through agriculture and through natural agricultural practices, we have disrupted that matrix of that soil environment. Just like we have probiotics for the human digestive system, Really, the biology is a probiotic for the soil. That's, that's really the idea behind it. And if you think about nu nutritional availability, it all starts with biological activity within your soil environment. Therefore, if we don't have a healthy soil biological activity, we're going to restrict nutrient availability to that plant. How many growers have put calcium out in their field and they have plenty of calcium, but their plants show a calcium deficiency. That's because we don't have the digestive capacity in order to make that calcium available. It's being tied up within that soil. And, you know, 50 years ago, um, agricultural practices were a little bit different. Fertilizers used were quite a bit different. And so we kind of enhanced that biological activity and we kept it alive. But based on trying to produce more food, um, we've destroyed some of our biology and therefore we need to build that back up. And there's a lot of ways you can do that. Right, so let's talk about what some of those are. You've got a lot of different products and we don't really have time to go into all of those. So I wanna at least focus a little bit on the biostimulants and on the foliars and how foliar has, uh, how foliar is something that we wanna use while we're getting our soil built up. And then also let's uh, talk a little bit about these uh, biogarden products. Sure, Chris. With the the idea behind each one of our products is to try and build a biological product that will build soil health based on naturally occurring soil microorganisms. And then we have specific products for specific function. Let's say you need more phosphorus or we have a phosphorus tie-up, it's not available in all soil. We make a product which is designed with phosphorus solubilizing bacteria. Their whole function within that soil environment is to help make phosphorus available. Just like we have nitrogen fixing, we have a product designed specifically for that. And then when we have like high sodium or stress, or when we see a lot of drought stress with the change in the environment right now and the lack of rainfall in a lot of areas in the drought we're dealing with, there are specific microbial communities designed to reduce stress on the plant. And so that each of our products are designed for a specific function whether it's double digestion, building soil health, and so it's deciding what product is best for the grower and how we're going to best enhance his crop and his soil at the same time. And, you know, it's, it's really anyone who grows a plant. If you grow indoor plants, if you grow grass, if you have a garden, or if you're doing three to 5,000 acres of agriculture, of fruit trees, corn, soybeans, whatever it might be, every grower or anyone that grows a plant can benefit from enhancing their biological activity within that soil environment. Excellent. Excellent. So here's the big question, and I'm sure people want to know this, like they decide they want to do these things or they hear that they should do these things. 
But who's seeing benefit? Where are we seeing benefit? Um, I, you know, that, that would be the question people would ask. Am I really going to get more nutrient-dense food, for example? Mm -hmm. Am I really going to get better results? Am I really going to get pest resistance? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people do know the answer to that, but could you just expound on that a little bit? Yeah, with, with in agriculture needing to grow more food and growing food with better nutrition, uh, we have proven that through biological activity and nutritional availability for 30 years. We have blueberry growers that do testing. We see our bricks level go up. All of our nutrient uh, go up in that uh, plant when they do testing. Alfalfa growers, hay growers, corn growers, anyone that is actually testing their food, um, we see an increase in total digestible nitrogens, protein, food value, everything goes up. And it's not based on uh, a, a magic tool or a, new, a fertilizer. It's based on a healthy digestive system. What we're doing is letting nature make available to the plant in a state that the plant can use it. And the plant dictates what it needs. We're not trying to force feed that plant. We try and put a smorgasbord out there and let the plant pick and choose what it needs. So it's been documented. Uh, you know, anyone that has grow, had a homegrown tomato and it has that great flavor and you just enjoy it or a peach that you pick off the tree that's just full of sugars and juices, um, you realize immediately when you have good food that it tastes better and it's better for you. Right, so tell us a little bit, of, um, I want to just ask one more question or two about this, the, the bio garden stuff. Um, how long have you been doing this and um, is this product line something that people can get through any other uh, distributors or do they need to come to you directly to get it? How would they, how would they get this and apply it and could they, where would they go to get advice on how to use this? Yeah, one of the things that we found that anytime we're using, I guess we learned a long time ago, re-inoculating the soil environment with beneficial bacteria is the easy part. The hard part is making sure we keep them alive and making sure that we don't disrupt them. Basically, biology needs the same things you and I need. It needs home, it needs a home, it needs food, it needs water, and it needs oxygen. So anytime we disrupt any of those things within that soil environment, we need to ask our question, what do we need to do to fix it? And so a lot of times the BioGarden line was brought about uh, with that in mind, and rather than having large agriculture products that they don't need 100 acres of product for your home garden. They needed enough to do a 2,000 or 3,000 square foot garden. So all of our bio garden line is designed for ease of use and it's also designed for small applications. All of our containers are easy to apply, a lot of shakers, individual packets for the foliar nutrition. Um, they're basically a single use type thing for the uh, home gardener to make it simple. Um, we don't want it to be too complicated because where do they get the advice? If they have any questions about how to use them, they can call our office. There's somebody there, uh, we answer the phone, we're more than happy to help educate people on how to use biology and how to grow healthy crops. Uh, that's what we're about. Uh, the BioGarden line you can buy online, uh, you can or go online and see it, it's tinyo.com. Um, and then you can call our office and order directly from us. We also have distributors across the United States. All of our products are sold through distributors. The only product that we would sell out of our office would be our BioGarden line, because we want to make sure that that home gardener is getting the information they need on how to use that product. All right, any other uh, parting words, that, any advice that you would want to give people in general about really what this, you know, this whole idea of organic food and healthy food production, I think is a little bit um, misunderstood. I, maybe not just a little bit, I think quite a bit for the society as a whole. And a lot of people don't understand that there's a whole different kind of agriculture going on that's been going on for decades. They think organic food is sort of a new thing because of organic certification and so on. So just generally speaking, what is your feeling about the direction we've where, where we've been going, the direction that we're heading, and where you think we should end up with this kind of food production. You know, uh, w Bruce took the philosophy, and we still take the philosophy today, that if you build a healthy soil, the plant will take care of its health. 
Um, all plants are the same. They all need the same things. Now they may need a little bit different based on the nutrition, but they all need a healthy environment to grow in, and that is, it starts with the soil. So what I see, agri agriculture has been headed down this path for many years. What we're going back to is what worked prior to um, the chemical fertilizer re revolution, I guess I would call it. I'm not saying those things are bad, they have their place, but we became too dependent on them. And so we need to go back to the basics of understanding we need to feed our soil the same way we feed our plants. And if we feed both of them at the same time, we're going to have healthier food, healthier crops, healthier environment. Um, consumer is demanding better food. And that is one of the things that is pushing the organic and the more organic minded. Uh, there's not anything wrong with a conventional grower. We need conventional growers if we're going to feed the world. But if we have a conventional grower that is organic minded and understands the principles of healthy soil, we're going to have a much better food. And the same principle holds true of the organic grower. Um, the organic fruits and vegetables are wonderful. We need to have both on the market if we're gonna support the growing populations that we have in this country. Excellent, great. So again, it's tinyo, T-A-I-N-O, dot com. For more information. T-A-I-N-I-O. I-O, T-A-N. <laughs> T-A-I-N-I-O, dot com. There we have it, okay. Well, Dennis, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Hope you have a great rest of the day today and here at Acres USA 2018. Thanks. Yep, we love Acres. It's a, it's, this is a great place to come learn about or just growing healthy crops. Anybody that wants to get more information, I highly recommend the education you can get here in two or three days at Acres is a lifetime of information that you will not find anywhere else. It really is fantastic. Well, great, thanks again. Thank you, right. Chris. Right. Bye.